Today I'm going to be sharing one of my favorite holiday nail designs with you. Um, it is my winter white agate design. So this one is wearable by anyone. It's great for newbies. It's great for anybody that's nervous about nail art or nervous about how it's going to wear. And what I love about it is you can easily switch out the colors and make it something unique and something you kind of use throughout all the seasons of the year, which that's a bonus. Let's get into it. We're gonna start by basing out the nail with the Nail Thoughts and Cocoa's Tinted Base Gel in Peach. So this is gonna be a really nice background canvas color for us, and it's your base coat, so we love things that are two in one. Saves us time. After that's cured, we are going to sketch out the shape of our little agate, our little geode, using Overcast. Overcast is a really pretty sheer white, so we're just kinda of, kinda of use that just to sketch out, create the shape that we wanna create for the agate. Um, one of my pro tips for creating a flow is if I start high on one side and, and low on the other side, I'll kind of do the opposite on the other nail. So I have a really nice up, down, down, up kind of thing between nails. And then going in with some fresh sheets on the palette and the long liner brush, we are going to start to detail our agate. So remember, we have that little ghost of a background with overcast and we're just going to trace that with the fresh sheets doesn't have to be perfect it's actually even better if it's not so if you can make it a little bit more squiggly a little bit less consistent that's that's even better for this look so we're going to trace that out and once we have that place we're going to not cure it and we're going to go in with the nail thoughts smoosh brush and just gently using the edge of the brush just pulling that downwards to create that rock look once that line is looking how you want it to, go ahead and pop it in the lamp and cure it, and then we're gonna go in with a second line. So same concept as before with the long liner brush. Uh, once again, doesn't have to be perfect, but placing it lower than the other line so that we have that look of depth in the rock. I like to roll my liner brush in my product, so it makes it so I don't have too much on there and I don't have a big bulbous chunk on the end. And I'm gonna go ahead and repeat everything that I did on that first line with two more lines. When you're using a tool, you wanna to make sure that you utilize all sides and angles of that tool because you're gonna be able to get so many more effects out of one product. So I'm actually using the more narrow edge, the side narrow edge of this brush to feather these edges downward. And we wanna make sure that we keep that hard edge on the top. Um, if you're not sure what a hard edge is, go ahead and watch some of my other videos. I talk about it quite a bit. And we're gonna do this again with our third line. Remember, you're curing in between. After that's cured, we're gonna go in with Overcast once again and just put a sheer veil of color over the design. So this is not gonna go from the top of the nail to the bottom, it's just gonna start where that feathering from the first line starts and it's gonna end at the bottom of the nail. And this is what's gonna give it that really cool depth and lived in look. Once that's cured, we're gonna roll our long liner right back into that fresh sheets and we're gonna add a couple more detail lines. So in this first little area between the first and second line, I'm gonna add two super, super thin detail lines. And we don't want to focus too, too much energy near the bottom of the nail because the bulk of the detail you're going to see is a little bit closer to the top of the design versus the bottom. Uh, but we're going to go through and add a little bit more detail. And if you feel comfortable doing this all in one go, you're totally welcome to. If you're feeling a little bit uneasy about it and you're worried about smudging your lines, just go ahead and cure between. Now that we've got the base of our design down, we can add some flair. So the first bit of flair is going to be Cocoas Vintage Metal Gold Gel. I'm gonna give that a nice stir with my Cocoas spatula. I love these little needle pointed spatulas because it is so easy to get everything off onto the palette. Um, you just do a little twisty twist, just like that and you're not wasting product. Sometimes with the flat spatulas, it can be a little difficult to get all the product off. I like this cute little roll and my product is where I need it to be. So we're gonna go back in with the long liner and we are going to 
trace above the first line and above that second and third line. So we're creating the gold veins in the look. Once again, rolling my brush and then just with a really light hand and a light touch, placing that gold. And once again, if you're fine doing all of this detail work without curing it um, in between, that's totally fine. If you're feeling more insecure, go ahead and cure it in between uh, rows. So you want to make sure that your gel still has the tacky layer because we are going to, at the bottom of the nail, press foil. So you can use a little bit of pressure here if you need to, but just know the more pressure, the more payoff you're going to have. Um, and we do want it kind of feathered to be a lighter touch toward the top. So one of the things I do is I'll fold the foil and just gently pat it where I just want a little hint of foil versus a big dollop of foil. The glassy top coat is a really great top coat if you have a design that has a few different texture levels in it. So if it's a little bit raised, um, and everything's not even, this is gonna kind of give you the double whammy of like an art gel and a top coat because it's nice and viscous. So we are going to paint the top coat on and then we're gonna give it a moment to self level and really make sure that we have a nice even uh, layer of this top gloss. Once the top coat levels and everything looks nice and glossy and glassy, we're gonna pop that in the lamp and cure it. And then we are done. Thank you so much for hanging out today. I had a lot of fun creating this tutorial. I hope you had a lot of fun watching it and I cannot wait to see you recreate this look. Feel free to tag me when you do.